This video, presented by Truman Medical Center's IT Works Learning Services, will demonstrate the new physician screen. Now, when you log in, you'll notice that on the left hand side of the screen, you still have your message center. And on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that you have a new working calendar. You can change your views from the day view to actually a calendar view, view any open items or any upcoming items. If you want to change the view so that you can see different physicians' calendars, you can click on the drop down arrow and you can select somebody else's schedule and then hit apply and you'll be able to see their schedule. You can change the date also if you want to by clicking on the down arrow and changing your date. Across the top, you'll have these column headers here. Some of them are sortable the time, the patient name, and the status. So if you click on it, you can resort. You can also see a timeline of, of your schedule. If you click on timeline, new screen opens up. You can see your schedule for that day. You can uh, collapse it by clicking on timeline again. And on the left hand side of the screen here, you can see that you have different uh, color status indicator bars. And the colors will mean different things, such as uh, the blues down here mean that the patient has been checked in, and the gray here means that the uh, patient has been checked out. If there are any things, or if there are any activities which need to be completed, you can hover over the status, and there, these are actually hyperlinks which you can click on and go into uh, that portion of the patient's chart. So if you want to begin doing your notes, you can click on that, and you'll go to the notes section. You can also change the status of these patients also. So if you hover over what the status is and click on it, you'll be able to change the status of the patient. Now, if the screen here is not large enough for you, what we recommend is that you can actually uh, click and drag and reduce the size of your uh, message center screen so you have a little bit more working screen over here on the right hand side for your schedule. Now this screen will auto refresh every 30 seconds, so you don't need to keep hitting refresh up here to see any updates. It will update automatically for you. You'll have a new view when you log into the patient's chart also. Let's take a look at that. When you open up the patient's chart, you'll see that you have a new provider view. Now here's a disclaimer. What you see on the screen here may be different than what you see on your screen because the provider view is based on your specialty. Now the functionality of everything is going to be exactly the same. It's just you may get um, some different tabs across the top here and this little workflow, and that's what this is here, this is gonna be your workflow, may be a little bit different and have a different order based on your specialty, but the functionality will be exactly the same. Also, you want to double check your location to make sure that the encounter is correct because the same rules apply as always. From here, you can do orders and if the uh, encounter is set incorrectly and you place your orders, you'll have to go in, DC the orders, change the encounter and redo the orders. So just take a quick glance up to this location to make sure that this is the correct encounter. If it's not, you'll have to get it set to the correct encounter. Now, you can see that we are in our provider view, and the idea behind having the provider view is that your workflow here is meant to replace having to go into the different uh, menu pages of the patient's chart to go and do your documentation. So you can actually um, auto hide your menu by clicking on this push pin, and the menu will go away, and that will give you a larger workspace. If you do need to get back to the menu to go, uh, to, go to any other pages, Hover over the word menu and you can go to the different pages again. And when you move away, it'll auto hide again. So, so let's take a look at our tabs across the top here. You can click on your different tabs. You can also reorder the tabs if you want to just by clicking and dragging on the tabs to reorder them around. You can remove any tabs also by clicking on the X next to the tab name. And you can bring any tabs back by clicking on the plus symbol in the tab row and selecting the tab. And again, if you want to, you can reorder anything. So you can really customize your tabs. 
your workflow here on the left hand side uh, you can also customize your workflow you can click and drag on any of these and you can change the order so this is all dependent on how you want to have your workflow up here and once you make these changes you don't have to go task exit to go and save them once you make these changes uh, they should remain as part of your profile so you you won't have to do this every single time your workflow components over here may change depending on your position you can also remove any of these components that you don't want to have by clicking on the drop down arrow next to these three bars and select components and you can remove any check marks next to any of the workflow items that you do not want to have on there so let's talk about the workflow menu and the workflow menu is designed to have a similar process to how you currently chart the workflow screens may look a little different but the idea of how you chart is staying the same so what you have been doing for charting you'll still be able to do from the workflow pages you'll just have an updated look uh, and the pages have been compacted into this one menu so that you can do your workflow from top to bottom so if we take a look here at the chief complaints you'll be able to uh, edit and sign it you cannot remove any previously entered information just add to it in documents you will default to the last 50 notes but you can change your you can change the date range if you want to you can go back further if you want to up to 18 months and for clinics uh, you can go back 24 months but just be aware that uh, if you do go back uh, 18 months or even 24 months uh, looking for documents you're gonna be hitting up the network for a lot of data transfer so it may work a little bit slower for you so take that into consideration when you're trying to pull back uh, a lot of documents if you want to see a document you can click on it and you get the preview on the right hand side and if you want to tag any items to include in your notes you can do that from here so let's talk a little bit about tagging the idea behind having this workflow menu and entering the information into the workflow pages is so that you will not have to re-enter that same information into your note at the end of the process so whatever you add in here will be added automatically now there are some items that will be added automatically into the note such as any vital signs that have been added in the last 24 hours uh, and lab results also will be added in there but for things that you did not create um, or other items that may not be added automatically you can tag those items and then insert them into um, your note at the end so the way that you can tag items is you click and drag over what it is that you want to tag when you let go of the mouse button you will get a new tag button and when you click on the tag button that will then be added and there's an icon here that looks like a little price tag this will allow you to view your tagged items I can see that here is the item that I just added if there is anything that you wish to remove from there you can click on the X to go and remove that tagged items now tagged items will remain tagged in here until they are either removed or until they are added into the notes there is no time limit on how long items will remain tagged so to close a document you click on the name of the document again in vital signs it will default to the latest or you can go back a time frame the vital signs look very similar to what you have been using already if anything is above or below the normal range you can hover to discover and you can see what the normal range will be to see trends you just you just click on the name of the vitals and you can see the trends on the right hand side to close the trends click on the name of the vitals again when I click when I click on labs and notice that as I am clicking on these workflow items I'm actually scrolling down here uh, at the same time if I were to scroll down you can see how the workflow items are becoming highlighted as well so this will allow you to jump to a specific item in the workflow or you can scroll if you want to in labs 
if, if you want to see trends again you can click on it and you'll see the trends in diagnostics if there is anything you wish to add such as uh, a report from an x-ray again you can highlight your information let go and then you can tag it in medications you can do your med recs from here again anything that is uh, check marked is already completed so if you want to perform uh, a discharge med rec click on the link and the med rec screen will open up please check the status column to make sure that if there is any medication that the patient is no longer taking that uh, you remove that from the medications list Here on the problems list, you'll be able to add problems to either this visit, this visit and chronic or just chronic. You can search for the problem names here. If you need to assign an ICD-10 code to any of your problems, you can click on the target and you'll get your ICD-10 code screen will open up. And here's your new orders screen. So it looks a little different, but it still functions the same way. When you have my orders selected, you'll be able to see any of your uh, favorite orders, which you have added. If you wish to add any orders to your favorites, you'll have to go back into the menu and go into the orders screen, find the order, right click and say add to favorites, and then they will appear here. The public tab will allow you to uh, scroll through the uh, specialty and subspecialty uh, folder tree to find the orders. If you know there is a provider's orders that you um, want to use, you can search for that provider here and you will see uh, their favorites uh, folder structure. You can also search for a new order. You can add it from here. Now you cannot right click and add to favorites from here, unfortunately, like I said, you will have to go through the menu screen and go to orders and add them that way. You cannot add, you can add favorites from here. So if you were to add an order from this screen, you'll see that I now have an order here in what's being called the orders shopping cart. So you can click on the shopping cart and you'll see that your orders will be in here. And when you sign it, um, if there is any further additional information that needs to be added, um, you can do that from here. But you can see that any orders that you add will be added into this orders for signature shopping cart. In the subjective of history of present illness and also in the review of systems, you'll be able to uh, see any items that have been added uh, through your workflow pages. You will also be able to use auto text to fill in. And then you will be able to save it. Let's talk briefly about the discharge process. Now, if you are an inpatient provider, you can click on the discharge tab that will appear here at the top. If you're working as an ambulatory provider, you'll have a tab that will say uh, check out. And again, you'll have your workflow here on the left hand side, which you can customize by moving uh, the order around. If there is anything that you want to remove from your process, you can click on the drop down arrow and hit uh, uh, components and you can remove items from here. Under things like patient education, you can have uh, your favorites that will appear here. If you have multiple pages of your favorites, you can click on the next button down here at the right and it will take you through your multiple pages. Here you have your all favorites or you can just see your personals or your departmentals. If you want to see how the process um, for the patient's checkout is going, you can click on the clinic tab and you have a checkout option here and you can see what has or has not been done yet if you wish to go into anything such as doing your med rec from here you can click on the hyperlink for med rec and the new screen will open up and you can do your med rec from here so again multiple ways to do the exact same thing
So the end result of everything that we have been doing with our components is getting down to our notes. So down here at the bottom, we have our create notes. Now in our create notes section, depending on your specialty, your create notes may look a little bit different. And for example, I'm here as, as an inpatient. So based on your position, when you click on whatever your create note is, you will get the correct note type based on your position. So when you click on the create notes, all the information that you had entered from all the components from above will be uh, generated and put here into your notes. You can also see here on the left-hand side that we have all of our tagged items. So if you want to add a tagged item into your notes, all you need to do is scroll to the correct location of where you want that uh, tagged item to go, click and drag on the tagged item, and you can see that you will drop it in. Now, once you click and drag and add that tagged item into the notes, it will be removed from the tagged item list. If you decide you do not want that tagged item in your list, you can X out of it. Once you have added it to the notes, if you want to remove it, you can click on the X by hovering over the group name and clicking on the X for remove this from the notes. If you decide after that the uh, tagged item that you clicked and dragged and then you later removed, if you want that re-added, you'll have to go back into um, the provider view, go to the correct component, highlight what you wanted to have tagged, click on the tag button, go back into your notes, and then it will appear again here in the tag list. So all you really should have to do, uh, based on the work that you have done previously, is go through your notes, uh, make any minor edits or changes to the notes, verify that everything is correct, and then you can click on your sign and submit or save, or save and close. And this concludes the video for demonstrating the new physician provider view.